In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily record your laptop screen, whether you are trying to screen record a YouTube tutorial the way I do all the time on my channel, or maybe you are trying to record your online course. I'll simplify the entire process and show you everything step by step. The software we are going to use is Wondershare Demo Creator. And I picked Demo Creator out of all the options out there because Demo Creator is really, really easy to use. There's no complicated setup process and you get a lot of features that you can use during during your screen recording. Then it has a built-in professional video editor that you can use to edit your screen recording when you are done. That means you don't need a separate video editing software to finish your content. And with the recent release of Demo Creator 8, they have added a lot of very interesting AI features that I've not seen on any other screen recorder. So let's jump into my laptop screen. Let me walk you through how to use Demo Creator for your screen recordings. The first thing you want to do is to come over download and install Demo Creator on your computer. And I'm going to leave the download link below this video. So you can just click on the link and that will bring you over to this page. Or you can just go to democreator.wondashare.com. And right here, you just want to go ahead and click on try it for free to download it now, and then proceed to run the installation. Now to create a new screen recording, just come over here and click on the video recorder. And here you can see that you have a number of options. If you want to record your screen, you go with the screen option and then you can record your camera. You can also record audio. And then if it's for gaming, you go for the game option, virtual avatar or video presentation. Right now, we want to record our screen. So I'm going to select screen. And now we just need to enter some basic settings before we start the recording. And that's one thing I like about Demo Creator. It is simple to use. And at the same time, it gives you the flexibility to customize your recording. Unlike some software that are either too complex and you don't know what's going on, or they are too simple that you really don't have any control. You just use whatever you have on the record and then that's all you've got. But here they have combined both simplicity and flexibility. For instance, you can select the area you want to record. If you want to record full screen, if you want to record just a custom section of your screen, or if you want to record for YouTube, TikTok, you can see they have the templates that you can just select. I'm going to use the custom selection option and then select the area of my screen that I would like to record. So I'll just use these pointers to drag this open. Let's say this area I would like to capture in my screen recording. But if you want to capture your entire screen, just go for the full screen option. You can even decide to record just a particular window that you have opened. So let's say I want to record only this window, I'll just select it and that'll do it. But for now, I'm going to use the custom selection. Then over here, you can select the camera you want to use as your webcam. So here I have a number of options. I could use my iPhone's camera or the Logitech webcam that I have connected to my laptop, or you could even use your system's built-in webcam. So I'm going to use the webcam that I have connected then the next thing you want to select is the mic that you are going to use. So you can see the available options here. And then you can also select the output audio device. Let me use the built-in speakers. And if you want, you also have the option to schedule the recording. And then if you come over to the settings tab, here under export configuration, you can select how you want to export your recording. If you select the single track option, that means everything, both the webcam, audio, and the screen itself, will be merged into one track. But if you want more flexibility, you want to have the audio on a separate track, the video on a separate track, and the webcam on its own track, you can go with the multi-track option. Also, if you want to hide your mouse cursor, you have the option to do that. Before the recording, you can decide to disable the countdown timer, that's really up to you. And then during recording, but I'm not going to touch any of the settings. Then if you come over to file, here, you can select the location where you want to save your recordings. And then on that video, you can select the frame rate you want to use for your video. I'm going to use 30 frames per second. The encoder, just use the default. And then we can also come over to webcam. For the webcam, we've selected the device, the resolution. Let me just use 1080p for the resolution. And then the frame rate. Also, you can set shortcuts, but I'm not going to do all of that right now. I'll just go ahead and click on Save Settings. And with all of that in place, you can go ahead and start your recording. But before I hit record, I just want to show you 
some Velcro stuff with the webcam, you notice that you can drag the webcam to any position on your screen that you like. And then you can also change the shape of the webcam. You can apply the AI portrait to remove the background from your video. That's if you don't want your background to be visible. Also, you can use the mirror effect to mirror your webcam. Um, yeah, so once you have all of that in place, now I can just go ahead and hit the record button to start my recording. While you're recording, you are going to see this toolbar. And if I just expand it, you can see that there are a lot of drawing tools right here that you can use to make your explanation clearer. So if you need to show something on the screen, let's say I'm going to select one of these colors and then just come over and draw wherever you need to draw. That's super easy. This is the pen tool, or you can use the highlight tool to highlight different areas in your screen recording. And if you want to add some text to your recording, you can use the text tool as well. So let me say, this is my screen recording. Yeah, you can basically type in wherever you want. And then you can also bring in, you know, different shapes. If you need to draw shapes, in your presentations, it's really easy to do with Demo Creator or even arrows or straight lines. This can be very helpful if you need to show something in a particular area of your screen. And then there is this eraser that you can use to erase all the annotations that you have, or you can just wipe everything out at once using this clear tool. And then if there's just like a particular spot in your recording that you like to emphasize, you can use this spot highlight tool. So if I click on it, I can use it to highlight certain sections of my recording. And then you can even open a blank whiteboard. And here you can really do a lot of very interesting stuff that will help you with your explanation and all of those kind of stuff. Then if you want to pause the recording, you can click on the pause button. And then if you want to restart the recording completely, just click on this delete and restart button. And once you are done with your recording, what you just need to do is to go ahead and click on this stop button. That will end the recording section and automatically import the files to the built-in video editor where you can go ahead and edit your video. To start editing your video, just drag the recording into your timeline. And then I'm going to select change settings so that the project settings will match the recording that I have. And then to import more files into your project, maybe like the bureaus, the sound effects, and all the other resources that you are going to use in your project, you can just come over to the library here. You can either click on import media or you can just come over to this space, right click, and then click on import media files to bring in all the files you need or you can even import complete folders with the import a media folder option. And once you have your recording in your timeline, you can go ahead and start doing all the editings you need to do. Let's say if you need to cut out a particular section of the recording, maybe you made a mistake and you had to retake that part, you can just use the split tool. And the shortcut for that is just S on your keyboard. And then you can easily drag that section out of your recording. Now, if you look at the panel at the top right corner here, you are going to see that the first tab is Magic Tools. And the first effect here is AI Portrait. And with AI Portrait, you can basically remove your actual background and use a different background for your video. And this is all done with AI, so you don't necessarily need to use a green screen to be able to achieve that. Then they also have the AI beauty filter effect. And under this, you are going to see different filters that you can use. Let's say if you need to retouch your face and then the green screen effect. Under audio effect, you can use AI denoise to remove any background noise from your video. And then you also get AI speech enhancer, which you can use to improve the quality of your audio and make it sound a little bit better than what you actually have. And then the AI voice changer, if you need to change your voice, you can see they have different options here that you can use, maybe just a phone or whatever. And then aside from the magic tools, you can also come over to the video tab. And here you can add maybe transform effect, increase or reduce the speed of your video, depending on what you want to achieve. 
You can also come over to the audio tab where you can play around with the volume, the sound balance, and all of that. And here you can add different animations to your video. So you can see a lot of them right here. Now, let's say you want to add subtitles to your video. That's really, really easy to do with Demo Creator. Over here, you can see three text related tools. The first is Quick Text, which you can just use to add text to different sections of your video. And then you also have the subtitle option, which you can use, of course, to add subtitles to your video. And then text to speech, which you can use to convert maybe your script into a voiceover. Now let's use the subtitle option to add subtitles to our video. And to make it easier for you, you can use auto subtitles to get Demo Creator to automatically generate the subtitles. Or if you already have your subtitle in an external SRT file, you can just import it right here or you can enter the subtitles manually. The fastest way to go about this is to use auto subtitles so that I don't spend a lot of time trying to do this yourself. So you can just use the auto subtitles option and then make a few corrections here and there and you have your subtitles good and ready to go. And then there are a lot more cool stuff you can do with Demo Creator. On this panel, you are going to see different tab templates. You can use different templates for your videos. Then you have annotations where you can add text, shapes, and all of those stuff. And then you also have video effects, audio effects, cursor effects. Let's say if you want your cursor to be more pronounced, you have different effects that you can apply to your cursor. And that will just make it easier for people to be able to follow what you are doing on your screen. And then you have pan and zoom. You know those times when you want to draw your viewer's attention to a particular area of your screen? You can just zoom into that section and these effects will make it really easy for you to do that. You can pan right, pan left, you know, and all of those kind of stuff. Then you have different transitions that you can apply um, to your video. Another aspect that I like so much about Demo Creator is the audio library. Whether you are looking for background music or sound effects, you can get them right here. But basically, once you are done editing your video to your liking, you can just go ahead and click on the export button and then give your project a name. And then for the format, I'm going to use MP4, but you can basically use any format you want. And once you are done with all of those settings, select where you would like to save your file, then go ahead and export your video. Another cool thing about Demo Creator is that you can export directly to platforms like YouTube, TikTok, and Vimeo. So let's say I want to publish this video to YouTube. I can come over to the YouTube tab. For this, you need to connect the YouTube channel you are uploading the video to. After that, just enter the video title, description, tags, and all of that. Then just go ahead and upload. You can do the same for TikTok and Vimeo. So this is basically how you can use Demo Creator to record your laptop screen and even go ahead to edit your video using the built-in video editor. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you have any questions, just drop them in the comment section. I'll be here answering your questions. And before you go, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.